Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and I am so excited to be taking you guys through another what I eat in a day and this is going to be a super special edition because I am going to work today and it's Valentine's Day so it's a holiday. Sorry that is my fridge beeping at me because I left it open um, but I wanted to show you guys how you can stay on track while you're a working mom or while you're out and about of the house and so that you can avoid temptation during the holidays. So I have a few tips for you throughout this video. I hope that you guys really enjoy it. This video is in collaboration with my girl Kiki Morabito. She is so gorgeous. You guys are going to absolutely love her. She does a lot of mommyhood content, a lot of thrifting on her channel, a lot of what I eat in a day videos, a lot of toddler style videos and food related. So I think that you guys are going to really, really love her. I'm so glad that we decided to collab on today's video. She is going to be doing a what I eat in a day over on her channel. So make sure that when you're done watching this video that you go ahead and head over to her channel subscribe to her channel and check out all of her social medias I'll have all of those links listed down below let's get on with the day so I can show you guys everything that I'm eating I always start out my morning with my coffee so I'm going to do that first All right, you guys, so like I said in the beginning of this video, it is Valentine's Day and I am heading to work where we are supposed to be having a Valentine's Day themed potluck. And if you've ever been to a work themed potluck, then you already know that it is going to be filled with tons of sweets and candies and cakes and all of the yummy Valentine's Day things. So I'm going to give you guys five different tips that you can utilize to stay on track and stay with your fitness and health goals while you're at work. So the very first tip that I have for staying successful when you're going to be eating out at work is to make sure that you pack yourself a very healthy lunch and filled with healthy snacks so that you are best able to stay on track because you have your own healthy items to bring with you. The second tip that I have for you guys is to stay hydrated. It's very difficult for your body to distinguish between hunger and thirst, so if you start craving food, you may just be dehydrated, so definitely try drinking water first. And I really enjoy adding enhancement drops to my water, like Neo drops. You guys know those are my favorite, so those are going to be my first two tips that I have for you. And make our troubles Tip number three is to have a filling breakfast. This doesn't just keep you fuel to power throughout the day, but it also regulates your blood sugar levels, it enhances your productivity, and it prevents you from loading up on the unhealthy options that are in the office. As you can see, I had a ton of options to choose from that were all pretty carb heavy laden and drenched in sugar. So this was pretty difficult for me to say no to. But the next tip that I have is to make sure that you fill up on fruits and veggies and and your protein when you're at potlucks like this. And to also make sure that you have healthy snacks of your own to help curb those sugar cravings. These are gonna really help you make better decisions in your foods and you're not going to feel like you're being left out or deprived. All right, you guys, so I am home from work and as you can see, I didn't really film too much while I'm in office. I work in a hospital setting, so I had to be really inconspicuous and I didn't bring my big camera or anything. I just took a few shots of what I had to eat today. So as most of you know, if you follow along my journey, you know that I do a little incorporating of intermittent fasting. So I usually don't even start eating until, you know, between 12 and 1 p.m. So at 12.30, I went and had my breakfast, which was just the sausage and eggs and spinach, and I had prepared that the night before. And as you can see, there were tons of treats in my office because it was Valentine's Day, and there was a lot of temptation that I had to fight off. So overall, I'd say that I did fairly well. I even gave up some of my candy that I got, which was super hard for me because I'm such a hardcore sweet addict, but 
There are some tips and tricks to avoid getting caught up in the sugar rush and a tip that I have for you guys is when you're around temptation at work to make sure that you bring alternatives. So I did bring with me a sugar-free pudding cup that I snacked on in the afternoon which did help a lot with the cravings. And it is totally okay to have like a piece of candy or something especially on a holiday but when you're really trying to be strong I think that the best thing is to not deprive yourself completely but to have healthier alternatives so I didn't really feel like I was missing out on the whole chocolatey deliciousness that is Valentine's Day so that was really good and I had a couple of other snacks and yeah, so now it's dinner time. My husband is making fettuccine alfredo and I will show you guys what I'm having for dinner tonight. We got Chef Tay in the kitchen and behind him he is eating all of the Valentine's Day candy. Well, what's left of it. And this is his annual make me dinner day where he makes me chicken alfredo because it's so delicious. Huh? With the help from Chef Brayden. What? With the help from Chef Brayden. Yeah. We're gonna have this and make some broccoli. So instead of pasta, I'm just going to have the alfredo with broccoli instead of these yummy noodles here. So tip number five when you're trying to stay on track during something like a holiday because it is Valentine's Day is to stick with the veggies and to limit your carb intake by just asking for subtle changes. Whether you're eating out at a restaurant or eating here at home like we're doing tonight, there are tons of ways that you can limit your carb intake so that you don't abruptly kick yourself out of ketosis. Or you could always just plan for keto meals. So my husband prepared this meal for us tonight, but I do wanna give you guys a quick crock pot recipe for a really yummy, keto-friendly, low-carb dinner option that would be great for the entire family, and that is a low-carb beef stroganoff, which you can actually prepare in the crock pot, so it's so great if you're a working mama like myself and you have to leave and go to the office. So I'm quickly going to show you guys how you can make this yummy dinner. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is to break up your stew meat in a heated skillet with some olive oil there and just get a nice brown going on all sides of the meat. And I like doing this because I feel like it just gives my meat a really good texture. I, you could definitely put it in the crock pot not cooked like this. This is just something that I always do when I'm preparing meats in the crock pot. I like to give them a little bit of brown. And then I'm just gonna season the meat with some salt and pepper and some garlic powder and just give this a nice little brown and then I'm gonna go ahead and toss it into my crock pot with the rest of the ingredients. Again, I'll have this entire recipe listed down below for you guys, so it's really easy and it's really good. You guys are gonna love it. So I put half a container of fresh mushrooms in there and then I did add in half of a package of the French onion soup mix. I did half a pack because I didn't want this dish to be super salty and I was making about half the size the original recipe called for. I'm also going to throw in an entire can of cream of mushroom soup. So you're going to want to let this cook on low for six to eight hours or on high for about four hours and then 30 minutes before serving you're going to want to add in about half a cup of sour cream and also about four ounces of cream cheese and you're going to want to stir that in for the last 30 minutes again and it is going to be delicious voila some amazing beef stroganoff I would serve this over a bed of broccoli and for my husband I would give him noodles and that is how I would make a lovely Valentine's Day meal inside for us. Yeah. 
I hope that this video gave you guys lots of good tips on how to stay at track if you're a working mom or if you have to be at work during any holiday season or for any work potlucks. And I hope that you guys felt encouraged and inspired to stay on track for your diet. If you did like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. I love